have four races off, uh, a lot windier than yesterday, uh, especially in the morning. We had a, a nice east wind, uh, so it made the uplands uh, pretty long going against the current. Uh, there are only 15 full rigs out there, so everyone's uh, pretty close together. No one's really getting that far away. Uh, so hopefully we get some good wind. I mean, if we do, you know, it's keep grinding and working hard and uh, staying consistent, top, top three finishes, and uh, close out the regatta. so we had trouble kind of keeping the boat flat, whereas lighter teams could kind of be out on the wire easily, whereas we were in that marginal zone, which is really difficult to keep the boat moving. And so today it was windier and we could go on an easier lane and just kind of hold our own. Some of the areas where we felt that we were stronger than the rest of the fleet were definitely some of the starts, um, especially with this current, it's a big deal and it's huge to be able to get off the line with speed especially with a bunch of great sailors from around the country. We've been hearing rumors that the forecast is supposed to change up a little bit, but you know, we're not trying to worry about it. Just, it is what it is, it's gonna be what it is. So we're just gonna have to wait until tomorrow and the next day and see what, uh, what the weather brings and try and rock again. the gorge. The gorge is a great place to sail, pretty consistent breeze a lot of the time, and this current makes for some really interesting racing, especially when you've got a channel and it's more current on one side and really big breeze a lot and just all kinds of stuff going on. It's really neat. Mitchell is just, he's something else, and especially in heavy air, you can just go, 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 and you know, I just try to do my best to keep up with him. I'm one of the bigger people in the fleet, so big breeze, that gives me a chance to, you know, stretch my legs a little bit. That's just really fun, especially it challenges you a lot. big breeze and we like to keep the boat flat and it's really fast to sail flat in 29er. James is pretty solid on the course, like all his boat handling all over the course is sort of complete and like strong um, and just everywhere is like accelerating and gone. He's keeping the boat a lot more flat than most of the other guys. We're getting there but he's still flatter. We've also only started sailing together just for nationals. Um, his, his helm was off to college and so substituted in, I guess. Um, so never sailed together before then. Signing off on day two of the U.S. Youth Sailing Championship.